All right, now let's look at this one here. So you can probably look at this and tell um, automatically you know this is going to be u substitution because you have this function here inside this function here. So let's just set this up. So I have integral because it's finding, it gives it derivative, find the original function, find f of x given the derivative. Okay. So let's say, okay, it's going to be, is it the function they give us? Little house, but inside the house, minus 9 dx. All right. Again, turn it into something that you feel comfortable looking at. So I like this, 2x minus 9 to the 1 half power. Power is always fun to use or fun to work with because of this. This is the rule. All right. Well, again, u substitution. Let's let u equal 2x minus 9. And then let's see the derivative du going to equal, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see carry the 4, the 2 dx. But again, look, just like the last problem, we have, this is going to be u, and we have dx here, we need that to be du, but look, we have a 2 here, which means we need to get dx by itself in order to put that back in to the original problem. So multiply both sides by 1 half times 1 half, so we get one half du equals dx. So now when we substitute in for dx, we'll have to substitute all of this. And it'll, it'll look like this. Integral of u to the one half. We have one half du. So remember we said, okay, we got this from here. All of this represents dx. And then this represents our function from there. So now let's simplify this, make it look better. Remember, constant can go in front. So I'll say one half, one half integral u to the one half du. Pretty. Now let's continue to solve this. Okay, so we have now one half times u to the one half plus one over one half plus one. And so we continue that. This is going to be one half times u to the three halves over three halves. So remember, if we have a fraction on the bottom, we can just take the reciprocal and put it on the outside. So it's one half times two over three times u to the three halves equals keep going. We have two over six times u to the three over two. It's gonna give us one third times u to three over two. And then substitute u back in, so we have one third. And then it's gonna be, our u was this up here. And we'll say, okay, now we have two x minus nine to the three halves. But remember, it's indefinite, so plus big C, and that's her answer.